welcome to our third episode in the Talks with Experts video series. I'm Eva and you probably know me from the very first episode. Today I have Philip here. Hi Philip. Hi Luca. Philip is one of the producers for our free-to-play game, The Giz Adventure. Tell us Philip, for how long have you been working as a producer? It's one and a half year now. Wow, that's nice. Uh, thank you very much for joining this knowledge sharing video. My pleasure. In the previous episodes, we already covered the importance of social media in free-to-play games and free-to-play game design topic. I'm actually uh, very curious what uh, you're going to tell us about the production process today. Uh, as always, you guys can ask questions and discuss this week's topic in the Facebook group called Free-to-Play Game Developers. Look for the link in the description below the video. So without further ado, let's get to the first question. So Philip, tell us, what a producer of free-to-play game does? What uh, are your main responsibilities? The main thing is to get the stuff done, which means to plan uh, a schedule mm -hmm. for all the team members and also for the things that might uh, be blocking some other task like the graphics from uh, art or uh, some other minor things that they might be very necessary for the job. Mm -hmm. The second main thing for me is to keep the team members motivated, to know what makes them tick mm -hmm. and to uh, care about their personal growth and ideally to combine those two needs like the need of the people to get challenging tasks and also to uh, move the project itself forward. Mm -hmm. For both of these tasks there is very important uh, to have a good communication, mm -hmm. also with the higher management and board. Um, what do you find the most challenging within the production process? For me, I would say it's uh, optimizing the schedule, since it can uh, change more than uh, once in a week, mm -hmm. because of uh, reasons that are uh, out of our control, like uh, releasing of a new version of operation system for a mobile device mm -hmm. or things like uh, illness of a co-worker. And uh, the second most challenging thing for me is to keep the people motivated. So you need to know them very well. You need to pay attention to details and uh, try to combine the needs of the project and needs of those people in terms of their personal growth. Mm -hmm. And both of these uh, require uh, good decision making, which we in Pixel try to do through data-driven decisions, but it's only available when you have time, mm -hmm. when you have time to collect data, such as uh, for A-B tests of uh, for example, tutorials, uh, special offers, or uh, when we were uh, trying the video reports. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, when you uh, have a decision or a problem in hand that is uh, affecting players, you need to make a decision really fast to minimize the damage mm -hmm. it may. It may do. And in that case, it's not possible to wait like weeks for the data to pour in, and you need to make a decision based on your experience and the information you had at that point. Mm -hmm. well, let's say that uh, we are running A/B test for a tutorial, and uh, we want to find the point where players might churn or where we might lose them. So we uh, put a funnel on it, on it and based on the results of the mm -hmm. funnel, we uh, sit down with the game designers and try to bring up a solution to avoid that uh, kind of behavior mm -hmm. in our players. What do you like the most about being a producer in the free-to-play game industry? For me, it's a diversity of the task mm -hmm. <clears throat> because uh, the job itself is uh, combined of those smaller jobs or smaller tasks. They are different every time. For me, for that one and a half year I'm in Pixel, 
I do not think that I have uh, two same tasks in hand. Mm -hmm. And that makes me grow, makes me uh, learn more new, more new things. And it's basically because of two reasons. The industry itself is moving forward very fast and the project itself is uh, evolving. Mm -hmm. So the new obstacles we have to tackle or problems we have to solve are always some kind different. We can learn from uh, experience and from previous uh, problems, but it's always something new for me. Mm -hmm. And it uh, goes uh, as well with, uh, with the people. When someone uh, leaves the team, uh, someone new comes in and it's all over again. It's a new person, new story of his life. And you need to get to know him and you need to find uh, how to motivate him. Mm -hmm. We are uh, three on the project, three producers on Digi's adventure. And uh, since the team is quite big, uh, we have, uh, every one of us had their one craft, I would say. And that brings more time for every one of us to uh, care about our team members. For me, the job has like two layers. One is uh, the project itself and all the decisions that are made within the project. And the second one is the cross pixel one, where we talk with other producers and we discuss the uh, problems we might have uh, somewhere else, but that they come, might come to every one project and we try to uh, knowledge share our experience and how we solve problems. So none of us uh, have to come up with a solution that already someone else made. Yeah, that makes sense. We try to do things that make sense. <laughs> So what's your advice for other producers? Uh, I would advise them to be tough, but be fair. Mm -hmm. And most of all, uh, be a human. Because we are all people and we all do make mistakes. And it's necessary to learn from them, to not uh, uh, repeat them. But we are still human. If you are... Uh, loyal to your uh, team members or your co-workers, they would be loyal to you. And it goes hand in hand when you need them to work extra hours or you need them to make some extra mile, they will gladly do it, even if they might not want to. Because they know when situations come up, when they will need you, you will have their backs. Yeah. Uh, WinPixel believes that uh, everyone should have a freedom to fail because sometimes it's only the one possible way to learn from your own mistakes. And as I said before, don't repeat them, but don't be afraid of them. Thank you very much for your thoughts, Philip. Thanks for having me. Now it's your turn, guys. We await you in the Facebook group. Please feel free to invite your fellow game developers to the group as well. See you there. Bye. Bye. If you are not already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You surely don't want to miss the next video.